Hey guys, and welcome to today's episode. As you can see, I'm on the move because uh, today is day one of our next house clear out series. And this one is kind of a, a little bit of a mystery because it's not the usual sort of situation. Um, in this case, yes, yeah, somebody has passed on, uh, but it's not the family members that got in touch with me. In this case, it was a law office who was asked to get the house cleared out so they could sell the property. Um, so my understanding is the person passed away. The uh, only living relative lives in a different country and they uh, aren't able to come and manage it. So they've asked for everything to get cleared out of the house so that uh, the property can be sold and moved on. Um, in most cases, as the lawyer was telling me, they actually have to pay people money to come and empty the house out. Uh, in our case, we actually made a, a fairly strong offer on this property. Uh, in fact, just north of $20,000. Uh, the reason for that is that I'm told that there's some vehicles that are left on site that are included with the purchase. I'm not sure what kind of condition they're in, um, whether they're roadworthy or not, but um, there are apparently a few vehicles on site and there might be uh, some interesting motorcycles. I don't know. It's always a gamble with this sort of stuff, but we are going to go check it out. I don't get the keys actually for another um, another couple days. I'm trying to remember what day it is today. <laughs> I don't I don't get the keys for a couple days, but I was given permission to go and look in the yard and kind of assess things out a little bit before I get into the house uh, in the garage and stuff. So we'll go check it out this morning. Uh, we'll go look in the backyard, uh, poke around a little bit. And uh, this should be an interesting series. I'm gonna go back there on the weekend with my wife and kids and kind of start uh, getting a plan put in place. Boy, try saying that three times real fast or 10 times. A plan put in place uh, so that we can get this place emptied. But let's go check the house out and do a little walk around of the yard first and see what's there. I have arrived. Front yard looks pretty clean. Not a whole lot of stuff there. Let's go have a look in the backyard though. I can see already at the end of the sidewalk here that it looks like an old Crown Victoria or something there. Not super exciting, but we'll go have a look back there and see what's in the yard for vehicles. They've had somebody taking care of the sidewalk, so thankfully I don't have to worry about that. But, okay. Well, yeah, we've got a Ford Crown Vicky. Pretty snowed in. Oh, there's a truck back there. All right. Oh, there's, okay, three vehicles. Well, they're newer, they are newer than I thought they were. The truck I was told was kind of like an old beater, but that's a mid 2000s F-150 4x4. This is a Cobalt four door, same kind of thing. Tires look like they're kind of frozen in the ice there. Yeah, there's like a foot and a half of snow that I'm gonna have to clear, I guess, out the back. I'm gonna have to shovel all this snow out of the way because if there's stuff in that garage, it's gonna have to come out as well. And eventually I'll have to put a dump bin back here somewhere. But vehicles are gonna have to come out first. I have no idea after sitting, what, 2021 license plates on all three of these vehicles. So after sitting for you know, a year or two. I doubt whether the battery's gonna work. You know what, that looks like a police car. That Crown Victoria doesn't have the uh, trim extending onto the door. That's a telltale sign of a uh, police interceptor and it's got the blacked out grill. If that's the case, if that's a former, like being in those colors, that might be a ghost car, that it would have the uh, better engine in it, better suspension and all that stuff. but. Uh, well, the cobalt's not, not beaten up. It's got a little scuff on the bumper, but otherwise it looks pretty clean. I'm going to try and step. Uh oh, this is hard snow. This is the type of snow, look, I can actually stand on top of it, which means it's going to be a little difficult to shovel. Yeah, no accidents or collisions on this side of the car. So three vehicles right there, which would be good. I'm gonna grab my shovel and uh, 
I guess start with this back section there and then start creating a path because this is gonna be a bit of a job getting this stuff out of here. Seriously, this truck has a big lift kit on it. Like my friend Josh's, you can see it's got mounds of snow all around it. Might be here a while. I have been shoveling for about an hour. I got the uh, driveway pretty much done. That was about a foot of ice, <laughs> a lot of chipping. Uh, but that gate has to swing in to get the vehicles out. The truck is more or less dug out. I just have two cars to go and that one back there, that's gonna prove to be a big problem because it's quite a bit off the driveway. This black cobalt here shouldn't be too bad. And I don't even know, I haven't even looked. I, haven't, I don't have access to the house. I don't know if I've got keys for these vehicles. Um, I don't know if they have motors. I don't know if they run. Uh, having fairly recent license plates is a good sign. Uh, I'm uh, gonna take a peek over at the truck. I'm just catching my breath. You know, some of you might say, hey Alex, why don't you wait until this all melts off? You know, another couple months, it'll be nice. So I don't have the luxury of time. The whole reason people get me to clear out houses like this is because they need the stuff gone now and I gotta move fast. Um, the other thing is, um, I don't know if you've ever played Grand Theft Auto before, but you know when you're in a neighborhood and it's all nice and there's palm trees and Corvettes driving around? That's not this neighborhood. This is the one where there might be like, you know, a tractor, a donkey, and a guy running around with a knife. <laughs> so I wanna make sure that this place is cleared out pretty quickly because I think um, uh, if the neighborhood kind of understood that this place was uh, kind of abandoned, um, some of the stuff might start to go missing and I wanna get it out um, before that happens. So I'm gonna keep shoveling and uh, come back uh, later with Melissa and uh, hopefully the keys to the property and we can start figuring out what to do with these vehicles here. Well, that's two vehicles dug out. Should be able to pull that one out this way, out the gate and the truck should be able to come out. I am gonna, I walked over here earlier and I'm pretty sure the drivetrain is intact. Ooh, I sunk right in. It looks like everything's there. Lift kits aren't uh, cheap to install either, so somebody spent some money on this. It's an F-150 XLT Triton. Let's see what the interior is like. Oh, he's got seat covers on there. Locked. Uh, and there's that. So my thoughts with this car are to dig a path to where this truck is. If the truck comes out, that'll leave this grassy spot that's already clear. And then I've already cleared behind that. So all I really have to do is clear from this to that. But that's still like 20 feet of snow. I almost quoted a Nick Cave song, 20 feet of pure white snow. Uh, anyway, um, I guess... I'm gonna to have to get shoveling here. I should probably leave some of this stuff for my kids since I've got two boys that claim they wanna exercise all the time, but I'll see how I feel. Boy, every time I do a reverse view of myself, I'm looking more and more red, but look, I've got the path done for the Crown Victoria. The path is done for the truck. The path is done for the car. So with that all done, I think I'm gonna explore the rest of the yard now and then wait to come back again. Let's see what's hiding around the corner. Okay. On this side, we have some boards and kind of a workbench and a pipe. Oh, I see a wheelbarrow down there. That might've come in handy a few minutes ago. Oh, well. I mean, obviously the vehicles are good. That's gonna be about half my money back just between these three cars. In my market, that's about five, 4,500, five, and probably nine or so for that truck, even with the rust. So actually it's getting close to my money back on that. So really anything else I find will put us in the, uh, in the black on this deal from this point out. Locked up shed, barbecue. Last barbecue I found I gave to uh, Patrick. Make sure there's no steaks left on there. Nope. Needs a cleaning. Lawnmower. 
Yeah, we'll get the kids to chip that out. Yard machines, lawnmower. Wheelbarrow. And a couple of patio chairs and two kayaks. Hard to say what kind of shape they're in, but there are a couple of kayaks back here. So not too much in the yard, thankfully. Not too much to clean up. Extension ladder right there. But I'm curious to know what's in the house, obviously, and in the shed and in the garage. But like I said, with what I paid, I'm already seeing almost my return back already. So we'll come back again once we have the keys to get inside. Well, we got the keys today. Melissa is behind me there. <laughs> uh, we have a, a box of keys and they're not, not, I guess they're somewhat sorted, but some of them say gate key, maybe, etc., etc. So um, we're gonna go try the keys out, make sure they work. The other thing is um, we did check and there, there are no liens on any of the vehicles. So that's good news too. But uh, first things first, we're just gonna check on these cars. Oh, I forgot to get the charger out of the back of your car. I don't know if we need it yet. Let's let's try it. We'll try the keys first and we'll see if anything starts. So now you can see all the shoveling I had to do. And uh, the the mounds, the... That's like four feet of snow I dug it's out there. Snow. It's a lot of snow. Um, a lot of hard snow. A lot of very hard snow. We'll, we'll have to see if there's a brush there. I did find the keys for the truck. So first order of business, we'll see if this truck starts. And if not, I brought my charger. Um, Melissa's asking if the windshield is cracked. Yeah, it's cracked. It's pretty typical for a, a truck windshield though. Ooh, it smells like coconut in here. Car freshers been doing their trick. Okay, it's the moment of truth, guys. It's been sitting, I'm told, for a year. I have some power. Oh, almost. I've got power. Hey, look what it does. It works. It works. Okay, uh, we'll let this one warm up for a minute. Let's see if we can find the keys for the cobalt. I'm not going to close this door just in case. I do need to find a snow brush, though. Gosh, there's stuff in the back seat. Clothes and stuff. I'm just going to crawl in here. See if I can find a snow brush. Didn't think to bring one. It's just bags of clothes. Darn it, I've got to get the uh, snow off of the windscreen. Oh, well, that's a long way down. Holy cripes. A lift kit on there. You got the keys? Yeah. Okay, that's one we got running so far. Careful on the ice. Yeah, okay, let's try number two. Okay, we're gonna try the Chevy now. And I've got nothing. This one's dead. Okay, I'm gonna get the charger. Well, I ran into a bit of a problem with this one. Truck started up, no problem. This car is dead, which, sure, it's been sitting for a long time. I understand that it's dead. But apparently these Cobalts have an issue where the key gets stuck in the ignition, and that's what's happened to us. So that, okay, well, that's all right. We'll, we'll charge up the battery, we'll drive it home, figure it out. Problem is, the battery is in the trunk, and the trunk release is electric. So if your key is stuck, you can't use the, the hole to get the trunk open and you can't use the button to pop it. So Melissa is jiggling the key right now. I don't know. Apparently there's a button under the steering column that I couldn't see it. But there's the access panels off. So somebody was trying it. While you're looking at that, Melissa, I'm going to go and see if the Crown Victoria starts. Okay, I found my way into the police car former police car you can see where the lights and stuff went up through there um and yeah it's the battery appears dead so i'm gonna pop the hood and again no snow brush in this one either let's see if i can pop the hood it might be frozen shut with all that snow on it and see what's going on well thankfully melissa looked up a video and there was a a button underneath the dash to push and we were able to get the key out which got us the trunk open which now gives us access to the battery which is, uh, and was, still is, disconnected. The other terminal isn't on there. I just put that one on a second ago, and I'm looking for the ground, which should be right around here somewhere. There it is. So, wait, 
with any luck. Maybe we'll get lucky and this battery will have a charge. Hey, well, I had a little bit of action, but it sounded like a dying R2-D2. So I think we got to put a charge on this one. And that, nothing happening with that one. Um, so I have to clear off the snow and figure that out. I'm going to run out to the car and grab the charger and then we'll actually look inside the house. And the, oh yeah, we need to find a snow brush too. I have one. Oh, okay, we'll use yours. Watch your step on the ice. Yeah. It's really slick around here. <sighs> Charger set up, but I don't have power. I'm gonna try running to a different spot on the house, I think. Okay, I got the charger working. How's the snow clearing going up there? I've lost to Melissa. You wanna go look inside the house? Yeah. Or are you gonna get the last of the snow off? No, I'm not going to go without you. I don't want to miss seeing... You don't want to see... Yeah, no, I won't go without you. Well, could not get the hood open on that uh, Ford, so that'll have to be another day's project. The reason why I'm doing the car stuff first is because they're in the way. Um, they've got to move so a dump bin can come here, presumably. I always need a dump bin. Okay, let's try the door. bolted shut. I guess we're not going in the back. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay. Oh, get some lights on in here. Well, there's a desk. It's a big giant TV. Um, let's see if we make some... That light is super dim. Maybe we can open the windows. Um, well, let's leave them closed for now. Yeah, there we go, some light. Garbage. So it's not super duper full. It's like normal housey in here. So let's just do a little walk around and see what we have to work with here. What? Melissa said it smells a little bit like natural gas in here. I can't smell. Oh look, there's a booster pack. That would have come in handy. Had I known that was there, and a crowbar. Okay. Got some garbage to take out, water cooler, fan, regular household kind of stuff. Dishes are still left here from when the last person was here. Just normal sort of dishes and things. So every time we do kind of a clear out like this, we make sure that a lot of the household stuff that can be uh, given away goes to the right kind of charity. Um, oh, I thought that was another cupboard. You think there's anything in the fridge? Probably. Not much. Expires 2022, so expired somewhere last year. Some Jamaican rum back there. Okay, so we'll deal with that later. You want to do upstairs first, or? Oh, oh wait, there's a, what is that, a Swiffer? Oh, yep. So a little bedroom on the main floor. Oh, there's a guitar. Yep, it's on the guitar. Hang on, where's the light switch? Okay, so I see a little amplifier down there, right oh, yeah, the corner. It's just a little G deck, but no. Oh, there's two guitars. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's a Fender Squire right there. It's sort of your entry level Fender. It still has the stickers on it, so maybe we'll find the cases, or maybe we'll find other guitars. Is that a TV? Oh. Yeah, it's another TV down there. Bedding and stuff. Mr. Noodles. All the Mr. Noodles a person could want. Okay. Well, so far, the inside of this house doesn't look like it's going to take terribly long to clear out. The bed, that's a bunk bed, I believe, right? Is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because look, it's stacked twice as high. I believe this is a bunk bed. So there's a bunk bed. There's some weights. Be careful not to trip on that. And this is for uh, weightlifting, too for resting your barbell on. Okay. Oh, is that a Dyson stick? Nope. No. 
It looks like a Dyson, but it's not. The boxing gloves down there. So normal, normal household type things. Let's. It's clean. Yeah, it's not. It's not terrible. You know, uh, I was saying earlier that I thought, well, a lot of our money will come back from the cars that are back there. And so even if there's not a whole pile in the house, I mean, there's still the backyard. There's a shed in the garage. But, um, yeah, it's, an, it's sort of an oak cabinet sitting there. Okay, let's walk upstairs. Ooh, I'm the steps. This is a tiny little staircase. I wouldn't want to have to bring big things. I guess that's why they have this cut out here. Kind of reminds me of Betty Jones a little bit. Remember how it had that sort of half wall there? Oh, look, Stephen will be happy. Look at all these weights. Okay. Their kids are obsessed with weights. Let's see. Oh. Oh, that's a PS4. Limited edition PS4. Call of Duty is empty, but we might find it. What do we have in the closet? We'll do, uh, oh, there's a computer down there. Fishing rods? What is this? <sighs> Sniper Elite Crossbow. <laughs> but it's just the box. Oh. But there are fishing rods there and there's a motorcycle helmet. Checking the back of the closet because if it were me, that Any bullets. Hang on, that looks like ammunition. Nope, bear banger cartridges, center fire. Oh, those are. Signal cartridges yeah. for pen type signal launcher. Hmm. Oh, and there's the launcher is in there. Okay. Suits and things, clothes can be donated. A club. You know, for when you just need to have a club kicking around. Arrows. That's probably for the crossbow. Maybe, maybe we'll find it somewhere in the house. Uh, some kind of leather, like low slung bed. What's under the... under the bed? Oh, actually, that looks like a rifle case. Oh, it might just be a BB gun, but it looks kind of like a 22 or something. Beaming. Let's see, what does it say on it? I'll tuck that back away for the time being. Investigate that further. Is there anything else under there? Nope. But the fact that was under the bed tells me that nobody's really gone through the house too much. This is a fluffy mattress. Let's see what's down this little hole back here. I don't see anything. I'm going to turn the light on. Mm, doesn't look to be too much. It's like a little secret kind of storage area. But you never know what's up in these rafters. They're kind of hidden up top. That'd be a perfect place to hide something right behind your bed in a hole like that. Oof. Okay, let's go check out one of the other rooms. Is there anything in these drawers? Yep, just what you'd expect. Socks. Darts, yep. dash cam, maybe. It's like a game or something. Okay, I'm moving on into the other room. I mean, oh look, attic. Lots of little places to explore. Okay, there's Mario. It's a me. It's a me, a Mario. 
what is this? GTX Precision. Oh, number one for gaming. So maybe somebody was really into gaming. Like a controller or something. This is like Halo, guys. Star Trek, a few little collectibles and things. Oh, well, that's quite the headgear. I wonder if that's for some kind of, uh, what would you do with that? It's got all kinds of lights and cameras on it and stuff. Harry Potter stuff. Okay. It's like a fossil. Oh. Well, that's kind of cool. It's a fossilized tooth. It doesn't say what it is, but that is an ancient fossilized tooth. It almost looks like a giant shark tooth. Doesn't it kind of look like a shark yeah, tooth? Oh, well, that's neat. You never know when you're going to walk through a house and find something that's a million years old that's not me. Oh, ah, ah. And there's a little... Uh, Relief, plaster relief. Harry Potter wand. Pew, pew, pew. Everything doesn't say pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Does if I want it to. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, Xbox 360 sitting there. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not worth the whole pile. And what goes back in here? Ooh, I almost fell over. Our remote control car. There's another little mystery door there. Oh, I didn't even see the door. Yeah, there's another door. Like a... It's closed. We'll have to figure out how to have a look in there. It's one of those nice... Uh... Oh, snap-on LED light. Snap-on's good stuff. That's a good light. That'll probably make its way back to my workshop. Lamp shops. Sherry Lewis. Hey, Melissa, do you want to see what's in here? Who guess the shaving stuff? Nope. Looks like a... Cell phone? Oh, it's a PlayStation. Or like yes. a Nintendo DS. This There's is... another one, too. Oh, are there two in there? But this is a smaller one. Oh, okay. Cool. This bed actually looks almost like new. It looks like an Ikea bed. Like, yeah, it does, actually. It's very similar to like our kids' bed. Yeah, like it's the Hemnes style, except it's queen size. Huh. And we were just looking for a queen size bed for our kids not that long ago. Is that but, box empty? I don't know. Let me check and see. So, an iPod, iPod, a couple iPods, and an old iPhone in there. But of course, if they're locked to the user's account, they're going to be not much good to anybody. Interesting little storage cubby there. Well, I'll have to come back and look through this in more detail, kind of as we go room by room. Oh, look, money. Quarters. Just a little notepad. Okay, well, let's go check the basement out. Okay. So far, I mean, the house doesn't look like it's gonna be daunting. No. Okay. I'm gonna open up the uh, curtains up here, though. Let a little sunshine in. I don't know what they were so worried about. They said they, they were stressing that about having to clear all this stuff out. But, I mean, to me, this isn't that much stuff. No. I think just... Um, Mind you, we see. haven't seen the basement or the garage or shed yet, so we'll see. But uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot of value inside the house right now. But, there, I mean, there are good things that we can donate, though. Yeah. Uh, which way to the basement? Or through the kitchen? Is it? We went down that other hall. Yeah, here we go. Oh, doing the cupboard check. What is under the cupboards? There's a giant olive, oil. olive oil. And cutting boards. Uh, cleaning supplies and stuff. Huge thing of whey powder. I wonder if the dishes were... Yeah, the dishes are still in the dishwasher. Well, they're clean. They are clean. Okay. Um, I don't see any, any lights down here. Oh, yeah, you think there's lights. Let me... Oof. 
Well, there's a light there. It's got to be a light. Let me turn the light on on my camera. Okay, well, there is some stuff down here. Where the heck is the light? Okay, hang on. Well, there's this thing here. If I could figure out how to turn it on. It's got to be a switch. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's records. Elvis records. Oh, there's a punching bag with its holder. There's the crossbow. Where? Isn't that that? Oh, yeah. That's the crossbow. I just thought that it was on. Look, another snap-on thing. It definitely didn't scrimp when it came to tools, but it's a snap-on charger, at least, anyway. Is this a... That's a snap-on uh, uh, torque or uh Oh, look, it still has power in it. Woohoo! Okay, like that is, Snap-on is not cheap. So some of those things could be like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So the fact that we're finding a few Snap-on things is good. Crossbow, pipes, uh, lots of fishing rods. Holy cow. There's an axe here. I don't know what this is. It looks like a compartment out of a vehicle or something. Lots of... Uh, Oh, a little portable heater. We've got uh, safety vests and snowboards. Rossignol. Rossignol snow snowboards. There's three snowboards back here. Weights, tools, a little saw. Okay, you know, start getting a little closer to seeing. Uh, our full investment back. I mean, we'll have, I mean, moving the weights is not going to be much fun. They see some comic books over there. I saw a tent. Where? In the shelf. Oh, over on the other side? Yeah. Okay. I, oh, look, there's a battery charger over there too. Ah, I didn't see that. Okay. I'm going to walk around this side first. We got Elvis, a little musty looking. Charlie Pride. There's a battery for something. Stereo stuff. It looks like the stereo is set up and the gear is here so you could kind of listen to music while you lift weights. A few comic books. X-Men Messiah. It's not really old, but... Hang on. I'm just going to move those out of the way. Oh, that's paperwork. Okay. I see bicycle wheels. Just, you know, uh, some decent things down here. Did I tell you um, what we're doing with the furniture? Me? Yeah. Uh, I feel like you did, but I can't remember. We found a um, company that pretty much, well, any of the furniture that can be reused, it's in good condition. We found uh, there's some families that are coming from Ukraine that are coming here with nothing. Uh, there's a local apartment complex that's giving them free rent for a while, but they're furnishing the suites for them. So we'll probably do a trip. Um, I'll get some help to load up the furniture and we'll haul that stuff over there. Which will be good. Uh, always nice to help out a good cause. In the meantime, though, I'm going to kind of dig around down on this side and see what's over here. Basement CDs. That's the battery charger I saw there. And lots of tools and stuff. Tent's on the very top. Oh, yeah, there's a little tent up there. That looks like a. Uh, that's for doing body work. That little kit there, it should be a hammer and dolly set, I think. Or, no, actually, I know what that is. It's going to be a soldering gun, guaranteed. Yep, soldering gun. I have one just like it at home. Bike tire repair kit. Lots of fishing rods. Holy cow. There's a uh, Henkel knife block in here with one knife. And there's bags that are closed up. Eyes in future episodes, we'll go through this stuff a little bit more. I've said that a couple times now, but for anybody who's watching, you're like, go through the bins, look through the bags. This is just me getting an overview with Melissa before she turns into a uh, butterfly and floats away. Hang on, there's ladders, pressure washer, the folding ladder, oh, pressure washer there. Okay, let's go see what's in the uh, shed. I mean, some okay stuff. Like if this was a storage unit full of cars and stuff, I mean, I would have been content thinking we'd see our money back out of it so far. But let's go see what else is there. Do you want to grab the light? Oh, yeah. I'll turn the light off. Yeah. 
Yeah, just having a peek around in the living room. There's a monitor, there's a computer, there's a fairly new looking laptop right there. And looks like the owner's pack for the truck. TV, Sharp Aqueous. So there's the PlayStation, the limited edition PlayStation there with the controller. Just being somewhat sensitive opening these drawers because I don't want to uh, have a bunch of family photos or things pop open on us. And any of that personal stuff we are going to send back um, to the uh, person who's receiving what is the IMAX Ultimate Collection. Hmm. Extra headlights and things. Okay, well this will take a little bit of sorting, but... Too bad the couches are kind of ripped up. There were leather at one point. Well, I guess they still are. But you can see they put some green patch tape and stuff on them. So those might just find their way into a uh, dump in. I don't really see a lot of garbage, though, so no, far. it's it's pretty clean. It's mostly just, like, normal, like, you're just in somebody's place. Yeah. Okay, let's get the lights off and let's go outside and check out the rest. Yeah, I've been eager to check out this garage and I've been sort of saving it for later because I was told there might be some motorcycles on site and I'm really hoping they're here. Moment of truth. Oh, I see a motorcycle wheel. And we've got one, two, well, two, three. Hang on. Yeah. Try, the, try the light switch. We got light. Oh, big oh, there's tools, box. but look. Uh oh, there's an engine here. What is that from? Well, there's a Harley soft tail here. <laughs> Newish looking. Um, so I'm glad that was actually in the garage. And you know, Harley is a nice find, but that is a Hercules dirt bike back there. Um, those are German and actually super rare. Um, I don't know what model that is, though. They made one that was actually a rotary engine, which that might be. I'm going to see if I can get over there. Look at the size of these toolboxes. Oh, there's a lot of toolboxes. There's a, a, yeah, there's another big one right here by my feet. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, Harley, uh, there's some kind of little mini bike here. But that's, I think that's just like a generic little mini bike. Still cool, though. That'd be fun at the acreage. And it looks like a rooftop carrier, um, all kinds of tools on the wall. And that hurt, how am I gonna get over there? I'm trying to find, oh, well, that's a you motorcycle have, lift. You might have to go from the front. I don't know if you can make it from here. Uh, I'm gonna try going down that yeah, side. I'm a little bit worried that there appears to be a Ford engine sitting here. I'm, I'm thinking that might've come out of that Crown Victoria police car, hoping not couple batteries uh let's see i'm just kind of having a look it's it's hard not to be a little bit snoopy while i'm filming as well because well why wouldn't you be well we own a harley now <laughs> or somebody will be able to buy it from us herb alpert t want a brass record it's like there's kind of no rhyme or reason okay what brand is this toolbox beach that's an old, this is actually an old toolbox. Tools yeah, it does. It has tools. I'm just looking to see what brand they are. Um, Cause brand, Snap-on. No, I'm looking for Snap-on tools because, okay, those are mass, uh, Mastercraft. Oh, no, Maximum. Okay. Oh, well, those are Snap-on. I'm just kind of getting a sense of what we have for tools. Anything Snap-on is going to have really good value. Mastercraft torque wrench. Gosh, there's a lot of good tools. Ho, 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 to quote Tim the Tool Man Taylor. But these are going to be really heavy to move. Oh, I didn't even that. Oh, look, there's some kind of weird storage locker thing. change matic Oh, is this like from an airport? Like where you would pay money... Oh no, garment dispenser. This whole thing 
on your side? No, I mean like look at it, the whole... Oh, like, is there anything in there? Yeah. Is there? Look, I'm like a distracted squirrel. Oh yeah. Sanders, liquid starter, all kinds of WD-40 and stuff. Maybe some carburetors. Okay. But I'm trying to get over here around this corner. Tire's a little low on the bike. Uh, it's missing the seat. I'm hoping it's just sitting around here somewhere. Um, because you have to take the seat off to get to the battery. So it makes sense that the seat might be off. Do you want to have a little poke around and see if you see a upholstered seat? It should kind of be shaped like this. Like it, it'll come up on the back of it. I'm just going to... Probably somebody watching at home right now is going, oh, you just you just went past it. That's the little motorcycle there. Hmm, unless the seat's in the house. You'd think like if it were me and I was working on this bike, I would take the seat off and I'd set it right, right by it. Oh, and no, that feels like it's garbage in the bag. Okay, you have a look for this seat, and I'm going to have a look at this bike. These are, these Hercules bikes are incredibly unusual, and they have not a regular piston that goes up and down. It's a rotary engine. Really unusual and, and rare as hen's teeth. But I don't know what the model number of this one is. I think it's like a 502 or something like that. I can't remember. I know my old bike somewhat, but I'm not 100% perfect. But this could end up being um, a pretty good find, a really good find. It looks to be in really good shape. The seat's nice. The pa the tank's not all dented up. I'm just going to see. Oh. Okay. It does have a a little bit of old gas in there. But it, it the good thing is the gas is almost full, which means that air didn't get into. Uh... Oh, I was going to say air didn't get into rusted. I think I see the seat over by the door. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Let's get over here. Okay. Oh, if I can just barely reach it. Oh, oh there's a John Deere something over there. I don't know what it is, but there's a... Maybe like a snowblower or rotor tiller or something. But there's my seat. I knew it wouldn't be far. wonder why it migrated its way all the way over there, though. Okay, looks like I've got a complete Harley. So that concerns me, the engine there, because maybe that police car doesn't have its engine. He might have just bought it for the engine because the, people use those police car engines to put in hot rods or fix up cars because they're kind of a hotter engine. But uh, but we got, wow, this is a stacking toolkit. Beautiful. That's the lower part. Truth be told, that toolkit would be pretty nice in, in our garage. I have been working kind of off a smaller one that I actually got out of Betty Jones' basement. And uh, that'd be a nice upgrade. That's a little... Lots of boating stuff, but there's no boat. Made in Western Germany. Gosh, I'm trying to figure out what the model number is on this thing. But if that is a rotary-powered, like a, a, a Wankel engine in this... Which, judging from the weird shape of this engine, oh yeah, it sucks. That this is a Winkle. That's a pretty rare and valuable bike. So I'll be sure to try and get that one out of here before too long. And these toolboxes and all this other stuff. But uh, I can see why they were probably a little overwhelmed overwhelmed with this garage because of how messy it is. So I I can see. I get it. But look, a Harley and a dirt bike and some other little bike that might just be fun to scoot around in the yard on. What fun. What fun. I wonder how many miles are on this Harley. Is there a, is there a key in the key box? Maybe. Maybe check and see if there's a key. We didn't even search through the keys to see what there was. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Hang on. See if you can throw it here. See how good my catching is. I'm just going to put it in your hand. Okay, that's probably smarter because it'll end up down in the yeah. abyss there. Okay, let's see if the key does anything. Well, I got the key. The key turns the ignition. Um, 
but it appears to be it appears to have a dead battery probably one of the reasons why the uh seat was off to charge it back up again something i'll do later okay well this garage ended up being pretty much the uh not just the icing on the cake this is the cake harley uh wankel powered hercules motorcycle if anybody's watching at home and you're into old dirt bikes or into old motorcycles you will know what a gem that darn thing is I have uh, only seen one other time in my life a Hercules motorcycle uh, locally, and it was like a moped kind of thing. The guy didn't want to sell it. He actually showed me because he thought it was super rare and cool. That's how I know about these bikes. But um, I've got all kinds of tools. I've got toolboxes. Uh, and I don't know what kind of tools are in these toolboxes, but judging the fact that there's snap-on tools lying around in here, I'm optimistic there's going to be some other great stuff. But there's still one place I haven't looked yet, and that's the shed. Melissa is talking to our daughter, but she's going to miss out the unveiling of whatever's in the yeah, shed. I got it. Okay. It's a little bit stuck. You my um, maybe. Oh, no, never mind. I saw a bunch of crowbars. Bicycles. Oh, look. I can't see. Oh, well, okay. I'm going to have to walk it back. There's a little Suzuki oh. dirt bike. Another dirt bike. So that's four motorcycles, three bikes. Is this a snowblower? High 10. Those two match, and then that one's kind of like the odd duck out. But there's three good bikes in here. Uh, oh, yeah, well, a snowblower right at my feet. That would have been handy to have yesterday oh. when I was digging out all the cars. Oh. Mind you, who's to say this thing would even start? You know what's going to start because you, you dug that all up. Well, it's pull started, it mean, probably would go. There's oh, look, a chainsaw. Oh, I didn't even see that. We actually need, there's a chainsaw. We need one of those. Uh, seat out of one of the vehicles, maybe. Uh, inner tubes. There's another, like maybe a little BMX over there. And a stack of tires that look like they'd be for the Cobalt. Those are probably the summer rooms. But chainsaw, assuming it's in there. I'm actually, I shouldn't assume anything because it could just be an empty case. No, it's in there. It's heavy. <laughs> uh seat there's bikes Coolers. but look at dirt. another dirt bike we're gonna be loaded up i'm gonna have to make some room at the house for uh oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah. for yeah. this stuff while we get it sorted to sell these are door panels off of something oh, no i'm good little knife oh it's a k-bar that's an american made it's actually not k-bar is a pretty good brand Okay, I'm gonna have to start really planning out what the next steps are gonna be here. Um, so I think all we can do today, uh, well, let's try and start the, uh, let's try and start the cobalt, see if that will go. What's the trick here? Let me get this closed up and then we'll go start the car. Okay, while we were inside, the car was charging. Oh, so close. I'm gonna go check my connections, give you bad ground. Okay, success, the car started. It's got uh, a little under half a tank of gas. I get my booster off of it, see if it stays running. Yeah, I was able to get the uh, Chevy Cobalt started, which is great. The problem is the front tires are completely buried in ice. So I've had to come to Walmart to grab ice belt. And uh, luckily it's kind of getting near the end of winter. So um, they've got a lot of the summer stuff out and the ice melt was on sale. I'm gonna try dunking that in front and behind the tires and hope that that ice melts off. I probably could have pulled the car out. You're probably thinking you got a four by four there. Why don't you just use that to pull it out? Because of where the snow is and everything, I think it actually would have ripped the back bumper off. So I'm gonna try some ice melt, hope that works. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get that car out. I made it home. It's nighttime now. I don't know if you can kind of see it. Ah, you can't really see it. But anyway, the truck made it here just fine. It got here uh, safe and sound. Um, washed it up a little bit, and it's actually seems to be a fairly decent vehicle. Um, I got settled in for the night. It cleared some space in the garage for the motorcycles, and uh, realized I couldn't find the house keys. So I spent hours and hours and hours looking for the house keys for the property, only to go back to the property and find out that I left them dangling from a padlock in the backyard. Good thing I got back there when I did. <laughs> uh, luckily, nobody had been back there. So had a little bit of a stressful evening. 
But tomorrow, um, and what will be the next episode for you guys, I'm going back to the house. Uh, I'm going to start loading up the bike, start emptying the garage, start making some room, and the clear out will begin. So stay tuned for next episode, guys. Um, this was sort of like the, uh, the walkabout, the teaser. And um, I guess we'll see how this clear out goes and see what we discover along the way. I'm sure there's, there's always some kind of surprise along the way. So have a wonderful night, guys. We'll see you all soon. And don't forget to subscribe and tune in for the next episode and uh, see what we find in this house. Bye for now.